Well, we've been hearing this story for, for many, many years um, that we are losing our teachers. It says 390 teachers have left the public school system since September. Mm -hmm. The minister said um, this is a small percentage of the island's 26,000 primary and secondary teachers and that the ministry is already implementing measures to buffer the impact and fill the gaps. I'm not certain how they plan to do that. Well, not they say certain. they're calling in retired teachers. 51 retired teachers have so far responded to the call, and they're looking for final year students, whether in, I guess, teachers' college who are on practicum or to come in and teach a teacher. So the minister says that's how, in the interim, they're filling the gap, but this is a very serious yep. problem. I don't know if you know, but is this just about money, or is it about I don't think so. pastures and family life and stuff like that. Is it the teachers just complaining? We're not getting enough money and we can get more in the Cayman. The education the system is not the same. Teachers yeah. will tell you classrooms are getting bigger, children yeah. are getting, you know, more difficult to deal with. Um, yeah. The sector in itself, you know, pay has always been not good. If you have to go into a classroom and deal with some people, 50, 60 children, and you are, you know, getting... Um, I don't want to say abuse, but ho there's hostility. Mm -hmm. You have to be guidance counselor and teacher and parent. Mm -hmm. And then you tend to, if you find a better opportunity, you tend to go. And the attrition is, is, is really, I mean, 390 teachers since September. September. And I've, I've, I've said this many times on this show that everybody's reality is different. So sometimes we hear things that say, no, Sam, but everybody's reality is different. By the way, just to change the subject a bit, um, I, I didn't read the story, but. It says on the front, the Lucas, Lucy Mayor sounds off a local journalist, and the headline is, I hate the media. What do they do him, please? At the top. What happened? The, so he says, you must report and report correctly, he shouted, turning his glare on members of the media. You have sent in an article the other day that I said that I spoke to the minister about cleaning the drains, and that was not correct. But I know why you're behaving, so you know. But I will not tell you no. <laughs> so, Mayor Samuels, was up into himself, as they say, and cursing him, saying he hit the media. So, so why, if he was sounding off, why didn't he just say why he thought yeah. they were behaving like that? Yeah, I don't know. And he says the members were a little taken aback by it, but there you go. At the, uh, apparently, he banned the media from one, uh, once, and then the minister, Desmond McKenzie, said, no, nothing can go, so I <laughs> didn't apologize for that, but I'm saying he hit them. Okay. Um, not certain if everyone knows this gentleman, great singer from the Tamlins, Derek Clara, um, died yesterday morning in, in Florida. His name is Carlton Smith. He mm. was a member of the Tamlins group. They call him Carlton Tamlin Smith. Mm -hmm. And apparently he was ill for about a year, a year um, sought medical attention in jail. He said, he said two months ago, um, he discovered that he had cancer. Um, wow. Yeah, apparently he, he found out in December. There he is, someone that I, I'm not going to say is my friend, but someone who I've spoken to a, a, a more than a, a couple of times. Yeah. That song apparently was made in 1981. So there you go. So condolences to family and friends of yeah. local arts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow night they have a red rose for Gregory, Gregory Isaacs, his show. Uh, tomorrow night with the new Melodians of that one, all three original Melodians oh, of wow. Ghana, so they have, okay. they were here with us. What's the last one? Um, Spain has a, well, had, was scheduled to have a major tech show coming up, mm -hmm. but they have cancelled that over worries about the viral outbreak of the coronavirus um, from China. The... Um, folks have said that this year's edition of Mobile World Congress will no longer be held as planned in Barcelona, Spain from February 24 to 27. The decision comes, it says, after dozens of tech companies and wireless carriers dropped out with the latest cancellations by Nokia, Vodafone, Vodafone Deutsche Telekom and Britain's BT on Wednesday. Ericsson also dropped out Sony, uh, Amazon, Intel. LG, I mean, what do you do as an event like that without those players involved? So that has been pulled. Um, I guess you can't really blame them based on what is going on. 
<coughs> with this virus and its spread, which is in quite a few countries now around the world. So that's it. Are they controlling it now? Who is if they're controlling it? I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. I think they said something like it's not spreading as rapidly. Rapidly. Is that right? Yeah. I didn't. I, I, I didn't I hear that. that story. I think I read that somewhere. Okay.